Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode last day on. No, no. This is seven days to die, dude. It feels good to be back. We are back up in collage. All right. I had a great Thanksgiving break. I hope you guys had an absolutely awesome Thanksgiving and all that jazz as well. Here are the beautiful handlebars we have acquired that we are going to utilize. With all of our goodies, you know what we're gonna get? In addition to all this gas, you know we're gonna- Oh, we have so many barrels. That is dope. Uh, back at home, we got the auger. Today, we are gonna complete the auger, and- I- I- dude, I just hope you guys have me a favorite fantastic day. It feels good to be back at college, just because I'm so used to being more productive at college and stuff, and I have like three weeks left of school here. I'm gonna be chugging through them, but between seven days to die, between more last day on there, between all that jazz, I'm just excited to be back here and uh, to the old set. Let's set up I'm used to because I can now record more seven days to die back at home because my save games here at school. Sorry for just hitting the mic there. And uh, yeah, but if you guys don't know today, the game plan, what we're going to be going after is we're going to be trying to get the horde. Well, prepare for the horde. I don't know exactly how the timing will end up being. Long story short, though, there's a horde coming our way trying to poop on us very soon. A very large horde. A horde that we have right around 12 in-game hours to prepare for. No better way of preparation than by acquiring that's which we need. Now, uh, we, we learned how to craft the auger, I think, last episode in, like, the luckiest stroke of luck known to man. We've acquired the handlebars, and that is the missing piece to finishing this off. The chainsaw, we got better parts for that. We can improve that a little bit later. But for now, the auger is... Completado. Hello, Agar. Welcome to my inventory. And these two things combined, let me just say, they outdate the need for that, and they outdate the need for that. Now, we are going to have to roll around with a fat stack of gas if we do want to outdate those, but it is more than a given, and it's definitely more than possible, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing right now, boys and girls. And I'm exhilarated. I hope you guys are exhilarated as well. Uh, workbench Mebe. Mebe, mebe, mebe. Uh, we need a little bit more forged iron. I think I remember I said I wanted to craft one of those. I don't want to put it down yet. Right now, I just want to kind of mainly prepare ourselves mentally for what is about to come, which is about to be a whole lot of pain and suffering. But hey, you know, a little pain and suffering here and there never never hurt anyone. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it did, but, you know, it never, never hurt anyone. I don't know about you guys. Boom! We're 100,000 in there. Check that out. Five stacks of 20. That makes 100. What's 100? 100,000. So we now have over 100,000 gold to our name, which is awesome. Put away some of the extra components. And with that, I'd say our inventory is looking pretty good. The one gun we're rolling with, SMG. When the horde comes, of course, we will probably have more than just an SMG. But let's reload the auger. This beauty. Let's reload the chainsaw. This beauty. And with that, you know what else is going to be really amazing by this auger change? Ah, besides the fact that our ears are going to get busted by these things. The fact that gun safes are going to be so easy to break into now. It's not going to be a pain in the butt to just whack at them when we could just auger them. How have these things not re- Okay. They probably haven't respawned because our base is literally on top of here. But still, that's shenanigans. But yeah, with this last day that we got going here, I'm trying to- Oh my god, my ears. I'm trying to think of the way we should approach it because, I mean, we knocked him out. I think really at this point, it's just a game of, I think, just trying to be as prepared as possible for what's to come. And looking at things- in terms of wood, I don't know if there's any forests nearby. <laughs> uh, looks like actually, hold on, there's a really green biome to the east. I want to head that way to potentially acquire some wood, because using a chainsaw in the desert, like, the wood's way too scarce for us to really maximize our output there. Like, sure, we could chop down some cacti and stuff, but eh. You know, who's trying to do that? I don't know. Uh, that oil factory we raided last time. Bless up. That thing was amazing. Holy hell. We got some great jazz out of that blues. Oh, oh. Hey, big guy. How you doing there? So, right around 2200 hours is when this mythical horde should come. This is going to be the second horde we're going to be facing. And just how tough will it be? I don't know. In terms of guns, we're pretty well prepared. In terms of defenses, we're not prepared at all. Also, apparently, I remember seeing a comment from one of you guys. I don't remember, but it was a comment saying that... I, I found, like, a rare mountain man point of interest or something from what someone said, so I'm gonna try to check that out. Someone even, like, time-stamped it in the comments, so I'm gonna look back to that and after this horde's done. Maybe we'll check that out, but for now, we have a gorgeous, gorgeous forest to go to. And tons and tons of trees to chop down, make ours, 
and utilized to the best of our ability. Dude, we are cruising downhill too. Cruising for a bruising. Oh, our, our mini bike's cruising for a freak out. Do you see that thing? Hello. Goodbye, decayed mother. We repaired our sledgehammer too, so that's even better. Uh, cover your ears. Put on the earplugs. We're going loud, boys and girls. Luckily for us, going loud is the greatest thing in the world. And as soon as that tree fell, my monitor turned black. I forgot the struggle known as my monitor turning black. But what was that? 25 gas for a tree and how much? 350 wood we just got. I don't think we got 350, but we did get a lot. So I'm happy with this. I wish it was higher quality, but I can't complain. The good news is we have a ton of skill points, right? And these skill points, as you can see, we're leveling up our mining tools as we use... Okay, I got to put this away if I'm trying to talk and not using it. We're leveling up our mining tools as we're doing this. So... If we want, what we can do here for our tools and traps, mining 69er might be a good investment down the line. Uh, we could do bad mechanic too, which is where, uh, what is it? Receive more resources when harvesting with construction tools. Ah, maybe not. I thought bad mechanic, I don't know. Supposedly that helps with that stuff though. So I'm just going to, I'm going to go at least one level in it. Maybe it'll buff out. Maybe it won't. At least, at least I could say I did it. Uh, I might honestly just invent a, invest a ton of points into mining tools so that we just get a whole ton more from doing this stuff, but Look at that wood just stream in bottom right hand corner We're getting like 200 wood a tree. So that was really weird uh, for whatever reason my screen just turned black And I had no clue what was going on and it was horrifying, but I fixed that so I can't wait to plug in my new monitor Dude, I got a new monitor a couple days ago I'm so excited to put that thing in, and I just wasted some gas, are you kidding me? I'm trying to be as productive as possible with this stuff, and what do I get for it? Nothing, but no good, no goodness. Seriously, though. Ah! It just, like, look at how much we just harvested. Over a thousand wood. You know how much that would have taken us with conventional tools? It's just, it's life-changing. And you know what else is amazing? All these seeds we're bringing back. Uh, if we bring a little bit dirt back with us, I think we ought to be able, or, I don't know, at least if we're able to craft up some dirt. Look at this, we can one-hit dirt blocks, it's just a dream come true here. But what we should be able to do is craft up our own tree farm over there. Now, I am going to want to build our own base after this horde attacks us, though. Keep that in mind. I'm still trying to figure out exactly where we're going to do that. There was a pretty good open spot, I think, somewhere around here, maybe, I'm not sure. I uh, also got to find a good way of getting our stone. Right now, the stone output. Also, I don't really know any amazing stone places. I might just try to, like, start collecting some of the big rocks by our base. That might be the best bet. Can falling trees still hurt us? I remember that was a thing in one of the alphas because the tree fell in the opposite direction and somehow managed to kill me. Absolutely horrifying, but it's exactly what happened. And I hope that there are more oil factories back at our home base, too, because... We're eating through this gas, man. We're almost down to zero. We almost used up 200 gas already. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? I got tons of bullets, so I don't care if I got to use one for your sorry booty. And then I'm going to bust your face in. That dude's face should not exist. I should have sent that thing into, like, the fourth dimension. God. Freaking time. Tra His face should have time traveled from how hard I hit it, dude. I hit it at, like, 88 miles per hour. That dude should have been Dunzo. Should have been Dunzo Washington. Okay. Let's get one more in here, and whenever this thing decides to break, I think we call it... Yeah, we'll, we'll call it at that. I mean, I'll finish this tree, but that's a good amount of wood. And that should be more than enough for us to begin making some pretty good stuff here. So, okay. 2,000 wood, yeah. Augers and chainsaws, even when they're, like, only around 200 quality, these things are life-changing. We even got the really good handlebars on that, so bless up for having those great handlebars. Awful, awful engine, but we can't do anything about it, which... Really, really sucks. Oh, we're not going to be able... Oh, no. Operation Find a Chainsaw Book because we're not going to be able to repair the chainsaw. Oh, God. I totally forgot about that. If we don't have the book, we can't repair the damn thing. Mm. 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 This might be kind of bad. Okay. Well, you know what we ought to be able to do then? Not skills. I'm thinking... Let's at least start preparing for tonight. No, not that. Let's start preparing for tonight. What I'm thinking we get, I don't, dude, I'm, I'm so, I don't know, I, it's been like a week since I played, I gotta remember this, I've been gone for Thanksgiving break, so I've just like not played this in a while, so I apologize if I'm a little bit jumbled here, uh, whatchamacallit, okay, I think we just want traps, right, I'm just gonna, yeah, okay, wood spikes, I like wood spikes, those are a good trap, we could get log spikes, but you can also get a metric buttload of wood spikes, I'll craft up 50 of them bad boys, man, 
And then with that, let's get some wood log spikes. How many of these? 50 of the bad boys? 750, eh, it's a little bit more than I'd like. Why don't we go with 40, maybe? Because it's going to take a good amount to upgrade them, and I don't want- we'll, we'll go 30. Is that footsteps out here? I, I heard some. I'm sketching out, but okay, while this stuff's crafting, because that's going to take us a couple of minutes minimum, uh, I also want to use this opportunity to gather some stones. Another valuable resource. Dude, look at- look at the bottom right-hand corner. Things like a freaking machine gun of things going into our inventory. That's crazy. Just look at that. Bottom right-hand corner, right above the gas counter. One, two, three. Look at that thing! Just automatic. Like, what are you supposed to do about that? Nada. You can't do nothing about that. And how much stone we got? Oh, already a, a, a solid 450 stone? I, I love this, man. I love this so much. The problem is, I think we're gonna have to get a lot of sand or... I forget what it is to craft cement. But cement's like the big ticket item that we're gonna be wanting to go for so we can make like asphalt, whatever it's called. The really reinforced wall, I think it's like reinforced concrete maybe. Whatever the hell it's called, that's the big ticket item we're going after and it's, it requires a lot of, I wanna say sand. Don't quote me on that, but I am pretty sure it is sand that I'm talking about. But look at that. Oh, we just took out a little grove of stones. What are we walking away with? <laughs> Enough coal and nitrate? to make a great, great amount of gunpowder if we really wanted to. If we can find a chemistry bench, that's 120 gunpowder. Boom shakalaka. Just like that. So, I think that that was quite the powerful demonstration of just how amazing the stuff's gonna be. Uh, now that I think about it, we might want to invest in a couple more trees. And you know what else is great? Chopping out all these trees. We're getting levels for it, man. We are leveling up! As we are doing this. And also, my throat is feeling a little bit better, if you guys were wondering. Uh, if you guys have been watching Last Day on Earth, I've been sick a little bit lately, so that's my apologies there. Nothing I could do about that. I've been trying to get better as much as I can. But if my voice sounds a bit off, that is probably why. But holy hell. Another great thing about these power tools, we don't have- it doesn't- Our stamina doesn't matter. Like, look, our stamina stays at 100% the entire time, which just means an easy peasy tree for us to chop down. And that should be, what, like an extra thousand wood we got? Ooh, 1,500. We might even be able to get more spikes. I'm gonna get one more. Okay, we're actually gonna finish the gas tank on this chainsaw. I'm sorry, I got thirsty. I got a taste of what it can do. And it was just too delicious. I can't just let that out of my sight. But if you are very productive with this, or not productive, but if you make sure you don't miss any of the, like, singular hits your chainsaw does, which I think I may have missed a couple there, but... Usually it's right around 25 gas to knock out like a 900 health tree, what I've been noticing. Uh, these are like sometimes 900, yeah. So we started with 47. As long as we get a hit on this thing every time, we go down to four, er, 18, so right around 30, 29. Maybe I was a bit off. I think though that's because, uh, uh, that's exactly why that's about to happen. Because our chainsaw is, uh, well it still works, but it's broken. So, we've already broken our chainsaw! Woo! Look at that! A scatter! A scatter! We already got it. Oh, man. So, that sucks for us. Uh, that actually sucks a lot, because... We can't repair it. At least with the auger, we're gonna be able to repair it, so that's great news. That thing, though... <laughs> funny yoke. Funny yokel there, lad. Uh, also, I think we're hungry. Let's try to eat a couple of these blueberry pies. Get our wellness up a little bit. Get that fullness up. Okay, wellness, if you don't want to go up, that's cool. I understand. I don't want to go up some days. Some days I just wake up. I don't want to get up, but you have to. All right, so that second blueberry pie better remind you of your job and just... This is seriously the best city. This is the best town, city, whatever it's technically called. I don't know if it's big enough to technically count as a city, but you know what I mean. Is that dude burping at me? Don't burp at me. This place is absolutely amazing. Just so, so many military camps, oil factories, like... I love this place. What is there? What is this? Isn't there something else that I'm forgetting? Oh yeah, the skyscrapers, Higashi. Uh, I d does it have the- it has a book skyscraper too. Like, for real, as I'm jogging my memory, driving down memory lane here. You really can't go wrong with this place. I think we still gotta loot up the junkyard, haven't done that yet. Multiple factories, just every day. I am amazed. And you got the suburbs over there in the south, although I, I don't think I'd ever go there. Uh, hold on though. Hopefully I don't land on a landmine. Is this a store over here? Have I just never noticed that there's a store here? I think that, okay, I've also never noticed how to drive, apparently. Have I just never noticed that there's... Oh no, it's another fire department! What in tarnation, really? 
I think I remember looting this place now that I think about it. It's been a while, man. But okay. Let's head on back. Let's put some of these raw resources to use. We're about to run out of gas for this mini bike anyway, so... Right around good timing. I th okay, I'm actually really thankful. I did not look at the gas until now. If we went all the way over there with no gas... Well, I mean, we do have a little bit of gas on us, so we're actually fine. But theoretically, if we didn't have gas on us, and theoretically, if we were low on gas, that would have been annoying. Ooh. I know, right? Dropping the bombshells here. Unexpected. I wonder if the skyscrapers respawned loot. That I'm, I'm tempted by it, man. While we do kind of continue doing all these traps and stuff, and what do you guys think? Do we try to try to fortify the fire station? I don't know if I want to do the fire station, man. I'm kind of thinking maybe the salon. Salon would be pretty cool. Ooh, or this little kind of bot. Ooh, ooh. I think I found out exactly. Well, I would like to fortify, and we're gonna do exactly that. <laughs> Probably try to get 20 more log spikes, too. Just so we kind of have a good amount to work with here. Uh, we're gonna fortify the corner of this place. Now, hopefully we don't go too crazy on the fortifications, but I do want to do an okay job with them. Might need a couple more wood frames. R.I.P. Chainsaw, it was a great half an episode with you. I seriously appreciate you coming around for that. Uh, everyone wish the chainsaw happy birthday or something. I don't know. What- just whatever. We'll- you'll be missed. Alright, someone- someone bake that chainsaw cake. It deserves it. Alright, uh, probably a couple more wood frames here. Just a fan dangle around with, cause you never know. You never know when that stuff could come in handy. So let's scrap those. Let's get the log spikes. We need seven more. Let's get- Siete mas, senor. Siete mas. And let's put wood frames there. And with that, I didn't want to patch up this hole, because that hole is absolutely awful. I don't think a door even exists here. There's just the frame for it, so... I kind of want to break that. Oh my god, what? What? Hold on, where's the frame? Is this the frame? Is the frame that powerful? Holy hell. This fire station is actually pretty fortified now that I think about it. I there's not going to be a way for them to get up to me, too. Uh, but alright. We don't have- oh no, we got the wrench. Could be better, but whatever. I mean, two hit repairs. I'll settle for those. Hopefully, they don't decide to wander through, because I'm really not trying to, like... I'm not gonna double reinforce those wood frames. I believe in them. I think they'll be okay. Let's begin the process. The fun process of fortifying this place and making it dank. As dank as possible. Also, I'll... Honestly, yeah, that's, uh... it's a good idea there. Maybe that'll get them to not go there. Because I feel like if they wander inside, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. For the horde. That eh, ain't gonna repair that even if I could. Alright, uh, you know, not even looking that shabby. It just looks like an interesting aesthetic decision. Could be worse, could be better. I just gotta go murder some animals. I gotta go do the anti peta quest. <laughs> uh, okay though, what is this? That stuff we gotta save. That will probably smelt down. That's gonna be useful for our cement mixer. Cement mixer, by the way. Can we craft that thing? No. So we need to do it at a workbench, and we might need to learn it, too. I don't think we've learned it in this series. So we're gonna have to do that. Get that thing going. Okay, but I, I gotta stop getting sidetracked! Right now, we got one thing, and Juan thing only. That is the beauty. Okay, why is this fire station so weird? You guys seeing this? It's like, it doesn't go right up against the wall? What the hell? It's weird. I don't- I don't know if I like that. What I do like- mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna try to stay on that kind of like lower overhang so the zombies shouldn't come from like a ton of angles Why why do you exist random thing on the ground? No auger We gotta destroy that and now it's family and all that it loves even though I don't think it had any family random panels of scrap nearby It's a sad life, but a life that uh, these must live or something. I don't know so, some scientific reason Do hickey for it and this is the part where the wood spikes come in it's my first time ever fortifying a fire station. Hopefully, the firefighter ancestors of this place, the ghosts of the firefighters, will wish me luck and not like haunt me or something. But knowing my luck, I'm the def I'm definitely the type of dude to get haunted in a zombie apocalypse. Like everyone out there, they're worrying about zombies. Next thing you know, Papa Star, I'm worrying here about ghosts, dude. I'm going all Ghostbusters in the middle of The Walking Dead. Okay, I'm like I'm doing like a crossover episode. <laughs> that would be me in an apocalypse, knowing me. Okay. Oh, hey, you know what we should have done now that I think about it? Let's upgrade these things first. And you know what we can do? Honestly, can I just scrap this down? I know it's not gonna be the most productive. Yeah, yeah, like, we're still getting it. So, wow, holy hell, that's a lot of scrap. 
Uh, I need the scrap anyway, because I do want to end up upgrading these wooden spikes a couple of levels, so... I need scrap! I am in the right to scrap it down. Although someone actually... Maybe I'm technically not in the right, because I could technically... I could smelt it down, and then the smelted iron could become scrap, but that's, that's just too convoluted at that point, man. I don't know about that. Still, it's exciting. We're gonna be defending a new part of the fire station, the part that I never lived in. The, uh, what is this? The north side! Never existed in the north side, and the auger's so good for cleaning out things, and I don't have to be scared to use the auger, because uh, I can actually repair it. Hey, would you look at that? Not like the chainsaw knows what that is or anything. <laughs> oh my god, the random bathroom, too. I still love when we randomly hear zombies just getting shocked by the vending machine. Like, bzzz, bzzz. First time that thing horrified me, then you guys told me it's actually the fire station helping me out. So, I mean, the fire stations of the ghost past or whatever, they've liked me in the past. So, I mean, there's, there's still hope for me, maybe. Who knows? We'll see. Cross your fingers, lads. Cross them real good. It does suck we gotta wait the entire, like, six minutes or whatever that was to get all the scrap, but... It will be worth it. And we will be as prepared as humanly possible for this horde. Right around 2100 hours, as soon as we're done with these fortifications, we're gonna head on back topside. Make sure we load on up with the guns. Make sure our inventory is empty. You know why? Because an empty inventory is great for all that juicy loot. You know that they're going to drop as soon as this horde's over. Hopefully the bodies don't respawn. That's always the thing. The bodies respawning or some dude dying on top of another dude. Because then their bodies, like, stack on top of each other and the top one, like, blows up in a gory explosion. It's absolutely awful. Also, opposite of absolutely awful, absolutely amazing that I can just repair straight through the spikes. That is honestly so handy. Uh, Alright, let's get the- with that given, let's get the rest of these spikes down. Let's definitely not wander into some spikes accidentally. I'm honestly gonna clear the way first, because there might be more trash. Hey! Look at that, as soon as I go out of my way to clear the way, there's no more trash. Who da thunk? And we just got one line to go there, we should have some extra spikes. I'm not gonna try to use all of them. As nifty as that might be, uh, it also would be pretty nifty to save a couple and, you know, for the next base. So at least we have some basic defenses. This will come in handy. Watch, knowing my luck too, there's about to be a giant zombie horde. Wanders through, steps into this, and destroys my defenses right before the horde comes. And the horde's supposed to destroy them. So, yeah, that's gonna be great. But with that, as long as we got a way to get over there, I think we're golden, pony boy. I think that we are golden. The gun safes one day might respawn. I really feel like I've spent at least five days worth of time adventuring away from home, but I guess not. I suppose. Note. What is there? A way to get over there? There is. Yeah. We can get over here as well. I might want to make a little wannabe staircase. Might be a solid investment. Oh, there goes the thunder. We all know how that's going to end. And we got, look at that. Some more elevation there. Even more elevation here. Luckily, we should be able to... Yep, we can jump right back up that. Dude, it's actually really cool in terms of, like, multiple floors. Oh, in terms of where we want to build the base, I just remembered. I kind of want to build it by that factory just so we could incorporate that giant tower. We can't see it from here because that building's in the way. Stupid building! But that giant tower that has, like... I don't know, but it would be the perfect sniper's nest. And I like sniping, if you guys didn't know. Now, in terms of what we want for this horde, let's see what we got at our disposal. Let's go to the armory and begin picking out our weapons of mace destruction. Uh, broken glass? Don't care about that. That's, that's gonna be a no for me there, officer. I'm gonna grab this iron, too. I think we're gonna get some more, but still, might as well grab it for now. Lead fishing away, so we'll smelt that down eventually. There goes the nitrate. We got the coal there, dude. That's like 200 gunpowder. We got a lot of bullets potentially down the pipeline. A little bit of clay, a lot of bit of stone. Clay going there. I'm just gonna try to group that together, so hopefully I notice it. I... the chainsaw that... R.I.P. chainsaw, man. R.I.P. Uh, the protective things, I'll put those right here by the rest of the wood. Counting all the wood and the fact that we just crafted all those things, we still have over 2,000 wood. Like I said, dude, the chainsaw, it's a game changer. You guys doubted me, even though you probably believed me. You doubted me! And what am I doing? I'm proving you wrong! Hypothetically, even though I might be proving nobody wrong, in that case, I'm just proving everybody else right. I'm proving us right, man. We are never wrong, boy. You can put the lead away there. Might as well put the dirt away. Plant fibers, yeah. Pine seeds. Gasolina. Right there with the gas barrels. 27 of them bad boys. Hails to the yeah. Potential shotguns. And with that, I'd say, yeah, we got some seeds here and all that. 
inventory's got pretty much what we need to survive. I think we're a little bit hungry, so maybe if we got some food lying around. Like, I'll eat a little bit of chili, because that'll make us thirsty, so we can eat some food right after. Or we can drink some goldenrod right after. Uh, we might have to fart a little bit, probably take a massive doo-doo later on. But hey, massive doo-doo never did anyone wrong, did it? It probably did, and someone's definitely been late to, like, an important meeting just because all of a sudden their bowels made the noises of a million earthquakes. <laughs> Horrifying image, I know. Shotgun is definitely coming out to play with all sorts of ammo. Uh, that's getting scrapped. Glass jar is going away. What else is coming out to play? I think the AK wants to come out to play, without a doubt. Uh, the sniper rifle, that's the good one, right? I think so. With that, I think we got everything pretty much on lock in terms of guns. Nothing else that I want to bring, at least. Oh, I could be using the claw hammer for all these upgrades. Looking back, may have been a bit more handy. But looking back, I don't look back, all right? I took out the rearview mirror out of my car. I don't know. Don't do that. That's an awful idea. Please leave that thing in for the sake of everyone. Uh, might as well put the iron away. Oh, we got a, dude, we got a massive stockpile of that stuff. Hell no, nah, I'm taking that. We got to finish our upgrades. That's what we got to do. Uh, and then probably not going to use the auger. Probably not gonna use the shovel during this debacle, and probably not using the wrench. So let's put the bow there, sledgehammer, then our assorted weaponry, yeah? Oh yeah, you already know. All the good stuff I'll leave below the gold line, I guess, before the money, money, money! Money! Line. My voice is not built for that high-pitched stuff yet. I'm still recovering from the sickness, and we gotta use that iron. We still got a surprising amount of time. I'm so I thought, huh. Yeah, so we still got a little bit over two hours, so we're gonna be pretty well prepped for this. I'm prepared, though. I like this. I've never been so prepared for- okay, I have. The military base, let's be honest, I was very prepared in those days. I'm a dingus. 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 You guys know I'm a dingus? Because I, 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 I'm like, hey, let's, let's go and upgrade some stuff, boys. And as I put away the wrench, because my, my brain convinced itself, it's like, Star, you don't need a wrench to upgrade, that's a myth. Claw hammer, though. That's a different story, that claw hammer is going to be a beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Before the upgrades. Alright, spikes. Not spikes. Log spikes. Are you ready to become beautiful? I definitely have enough scrap for this, and... Oh, didn't, didn't mean to do a double upgrade. Guess I did, though. Alright, hope you guys enjoy. This is still gonna take a good amount of scrap iron, and like, listen, I- I want good fortifications, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to sack- I'm not trying to go all out, though. That's gonna be for the next base, and given the fact- What's that I hear? Oh, get the hell out of here, girl. No, 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 no. You need a little bit of sledgehammer and a little bit of face, don't you agree? <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I do. Oh, no head explosions, though. Yeah, it looks like we got a little- I don't know if that's a horde or what is it? Hey! Hey, stay away from those defenses! I gotta keep those fresh for the real horde! Fake horde! You guys are fake horde! Get out of here with your fake hordeness. Uh, those guys, as long as they don't hit the spikes, man, I'm cool with them. I'm cool with them. You know, just don't touch my spikes, and we chill. We chill. You, you gotta die, friend. Oh! That's a, that's a violent way to go down. What is it, though? Oh, no. Is that guy going after our spikes? I hope not. Did I already upgrade these? Did we upgrade everything? I don't remember. I just hear footsteps! Oh my god. There's a good amount of them. We might want to whip out the sledgehammer and start dealing with things, but... Listen, it's a humble little abode, don't get me wrong, but those fortifications... I'd say they're pretty nice. Just like head explosions! Yes! Oh, I thought if I started yelling about it, we might get lucky and get a double. No double today. That girl, she just died straight up from brain trauma. We hit her too hard. Like, her head didn't explode. But, her brain probably exploded on the inside. Do zombies have brains? I feel like no, because then they'd eat each other. I think zombies have to be brainless. That, or maybe like zombie brains are spoiled. I, I don't know how zombie brain economics work. But there you have it. The fortifications of the base. The tinting of the sky foreshadow an absolute nightmares coming over. Oh, really? I had to do this, man. I don't, I don't have any wood on me. Ow! Freaking cacti, man. Thanks for leveling me up, Cacti. You made me stronger. You right there. You made me stronger. I thank you for that. Well, that wandering horde got through pretty safely, so that's good. And now, we head on back topside and we prepare for the pain and suffering that is about to come. Hopefully, to the giant horde of zombies coming our way. But, there's always the surprisingly good chance that that pain and suffering is instead inflicted on me. So cross your fingers for me, but with that, 
I know you guys might hate me for this cliffhanger. I think it's a good point for us to go and end this video off on. That way we can dedicate the entire next episode. So if I had to cut, cut the horde like halfway through, we're going to be dealing with the horde for the entirety of the next episode. And then kind of the cleanup after that. I think that's a great way of structuring it. I apologize, but we did some mad prep to get prepared for this. And I'm more than comfortable with this base. Listen, man, right up here. This is going to be the move. I might maybe... I'm tempted here. Maybe we'll make a staircase up to, uh, up to here and this way, right? You see what I'm saying? A little, little bit, not, not the most beautiful thing in the world, but that way we can go up here and it's going to be a doozy for a sniper's nest. Ooh, and actually, hold on. Does night vision work with, oh, I was about to say that would have been really cool. No. No, well, yeah, that's going to be what wrap it on me for now. Thank you guys all ton for watching. The Day 14 Horde awaits us in the next episode. Sorry this video is going up a little bit late as well. I literally, first thing I did, as soon as I got home and I was able, or not home, but back to college, as soon as I was able to record another 7 Days to Die episode, guess what I did? Recorded it, literally. Dropped off my stuff, put away some frozen things I bought in the fridge so I don't starve to death because I can later make tacos and stuff. And uh, here we are. Playing Seven Days to Die. So this video is going to be going up absolutely ASAP. Apologies, it's going to be so late. But I hope you guys enjoy as we did our final best base. Best. The best preparations. Our final base preparations. And uh, just kind of prepare for things to get serious next episode. That's going to do it for me for now. Thank you guys all the time for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.